Watching the sun move across the sky, it is easy to understand why people believe that the sun orbited around the earth. The earth appears to be motionless, sitting at the center of the universe. We now know, of course, that the earth orbits around the sun, a heliocentric system, but proving this was not easy. The debate about the relationship of the Earth to the Sun started with the first civilizations and continued into the 17th century, a time when support for a Sun-centered system was growing. Critics of this idea claimed that the Moon could not orbit the Earth and orbit the Sun at the same time. This seemed impossible. Solving this dilemma would require some compelling evidence, and that evidence appeared early in January of 1610. Galileo, the Italian philosopher and scientist, had just finished constructing a small telescope. At dusk on January the 7th, the planet Jupiter was high above the east horizon. Galileo pointed his small telescope at Jupiter. Focusing carefully, he was surprised to see what appeared to be three tiny stars aligned with the planet. Galileo carefully recorded the scene revealed in his telescope. The next night, he again pointed his telescope at Jupiter. Strangely, the tiny stars had changed position. Every clear night for the rest of the month, Galileo observed Jupiter the tiny stars continued to change position. On January 13th, he discovered a fourth tiny star. Galileo came to the conclusion that these tiny stars were actually moons orbiting the planet. Their orbital plane aligned with the Earth, making it appear that they were moving back and forth. This animation shows two views of these orbiting moons. This was compelling evidence for a universe in which small objects orbited larger ones. He realized that as Jupiter orbited the Sun, its moons traveled with it. Galileo was now convinced that the Earth orbited the Sun, accompanied by the Moon. Galileo and his telescope changed our understanding of the universe. If you have a telescope or high magnification binoculars, it is possible to see the large Galilean moons of Jupiter yourself and, as Galileo did, watch them change positions. Jupiter has over 60 natural satellites. The four Galilean moons are the largest, and they are named Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Io is closest to Jupiter, orbiting the planet every 1.8 days. Next is Europa, orbiting every 3.6 days. Ganymede orbits every 7.2 days and the moon furthest from the planet is Callisto, 
orbiting Jupiter every 16.7 days. You will need to find out where and when to look to find Jupiter. There are many excellent online astronomy sites that will give you this information. Once you have determined where to look, Jupiter is usually the brightest object in that part of the sky, easily seen with the unaided eye. A small telescope will easily reveal these four moons. With binoculars, it is possible to see the moons, but a bit more difficult. Your binoculars should have a magnification of at least 10 and need to be secured in a steady position. If you're interested in viewing Jupiter or other objects in space but don't have access to a telescope or binoculars, here's an exciting option. It is now possible to rent, on the internet, a robotic telescope. These telescopes are located at some of the best viewing locations on Earth and you control them from your home with your computer. Here's how this works. This is Mount Teide in the Canary Islands. Not far from this volcanic summit is a cluster of futuristic domes and towers. These structures belong to an international consortium of astronomers who have been attracted to the clear skies of this remote location. The sophisticated equipment at this site is used to support many research projects. During the day, solar telescopes probe and analyze the sun and during the night automated telescopes scan the sky looking for planets beyond our solar system. The site also has radio telescopes that continuously monitor cosmic microwaves. This is a very exciting place and you can be part of it. These two domes house robotic telescopes, telescopes that can be accessed and controlled using the internet. Each telescope is equipped with a special digital camera configured for astrophotography. Access to these telescopes starts on the internet at slu.com. This is the gateway to the SLU telescopes at Mount Teide. Once you are registered and logged in, you can reserve a mission. This involves selecting a viewing time and a target. The target can be selected from a drop-down list of objects, or if you are familiar with the coordinate system used by astronomers, you can select an area of space using coordinates. To view the object you have chosen, return to the SLU interface at the date and time selected. The telescopes are accessed from the mission interface. Click the Live Telescopes link. At the time and date that you have selected, the telescope rotates and focuses on the object. As the image is captured, it appears on the mission interface on your computer monitor. You can adjust the image and then capture it using the camera control. Once you are comfortable with the process, you may want to create a project. For instance, if Jupiter is visible, it is possible to produce a modern version of Galileo's early work. Over a period of a few days, capture images of Jupiter and its Galilean moons. The motion of these four large satellites is very apparent. Here is an interesting project. A series of images of Mars have been assembled into an animation showing the planet as it passes the star cluster M44. This animation was produced by a SLU member. This animation shows Comet Holmes passing the California Nebula. These images are examples of galaxies, nebula, comets, planets, and star clusters, all captured using SLU's online telescopes. Some of these objects are millions of light years from Earth.
It is hard to imagine what Galileo would think of this. The primitive telescope that he did such important work with 400 years ago has evolved into something out of science fiction. It is possible that someone using these online telescopes will make a dramatic contribution to our knowledge of the universe. This organization is currently working on establishing telescopes in Chile and Australia. When this work is completed, this will provide an online telescope service 24 hours a day. Work is also underway to upgrade the facility at Mount T80, including new domes and a new state-of-the-art half-meter telescope. If you are interested in astronomy, services like this one make it possible to use sophisticated telescopes at great viewing locations, all at a reasonable cost. Access to live online telescopes is a remarkable development in the evolution of astronomy. It opens the door to independent research and education, allowing creative people from all around the planet to contribute. Visit the SLU website to find out more about this evolving service. More astronomy and science related videos can be found at our website. HyloRoad.com. Follow the projects link.